So in this last video for the series, I go from Collingwood back to Picton. On the way, I stop for a coffee at the Top House Historical Inn, check out the river at Polaris Bridge, head right up to the top of the Marlborough Sounds to have a look at French Pass, and then go to Picton via the Queen Charlotte Sounds. But now to leave Collingwood and head back over the Tarkaka Hill. And that's a tree over in the middle of the bay there. Uh, it's actually a Maori burial site. In that sort of little island type area. Which uh, must be a definite risk of getting washed away. Let's have a quick look at this historic guest house. Let's see if there are any historic guests there. There we go. I thought I'd stop and get a coffee at the cafe at the top house in, but the cafe was closed when I went there. Helen, who runs the place with her husband, was kind enough to make me a pot of coffee while I was there. I had a good look around. There's lots of pictures of the way the place used to be in the 1800s, and this is mainly because there was a murder there. It's a grisly story that you can read about in your own time, but the place is apparently haunted now by a friendly ghost. Take that as you will. It's a nice place to stop and have a look around, and there's a bar and a restaurant and accommodation. So it may be a place that I go back to one day. Looks like a very interesting place and it's a bed and breakfast and there's also cottage accommodation that you can get and the uh, people who run that place really awesome and done a fantastic job looking after the place. So uh, yeah, that's it. I've stopped, had coffee, had a talk. One day, I may uh, come back and actually stay there. Get a few people on a road trip. you see uh, parked here all the time, is it?
gates with a stop sign on it that we can ride around because we don't stop for things like gates. But yes, we'll see what this is like. Well, just going for a short walk to start the day while my tent dries out. It was just a little bit of rain last night, but it was quite comfortable really. So, yep, apparently there's some waterfalls along this way. Let's see what they are like. And there we have it. Nice little waterfall. Well, the next waterfall is a kilometre away, so I might as well go and have a peek at that one too. Like it'll be a nice pool to swim in as well. At least have a bathe. Just a little waterfall. <clears throat> what are we talking? Oh, Kiwi Bay. 22 kilometres, Elaine Bay, 39. Where do I want to go? French Pass, 60 kilometres. Oh well, I'll see. French Pass, I think, is one of the uh, more northerly places. put a reduced speed limit on this road because of the amount of roadworks and things that are going on. To tell you the truth, you wouldn't really want to go very fast on it. It is a windy road.
I didn't realise that the road was closed for most of the day. I arrived just as the workmen were having a lunch break, so I had half an hour to get to the end of the road, have a look round, and get back before the road was closed again for another five hours. Good timing. for my last night on this journey. Box myself a motel right in the centre of Pitton. Nice off the street place to park the bike. little uh, hotel this they've got a one of those five-seater trikes in the garage they do the tours around town all very nice little units and that was the end of my ride around the top of the South Island fantastic roads fantastic scenery around there Molesworth track it was exquisite there are a lot of places in the Tasman district that I wish I had time to actually see. The road up to French Pass was amazing and I really want to explore the Marlborough Sound some more. But now I need to start saving for another trip and have a think about where I want to go. Thanks for watching these videos. Please like and subscribe and all that stuff just to encourage me to get out and see more places and do some more filming. See you later.